Hi, I'm Adobe Developer Evangelist Kevin Hoyt. In this series, we've been exploring how to get started with HTML5 Canvas. So far, we've seen lots of different options. We've looked at how to get a hold of the canvas, how to draw lines on the canvas, how to style the canvas, how to let the user interact with the canvas uh, in a couple different ways. Uh, next up is going to be drawing images to the canvas. And the obvious use here is that you don't want to be issuing drawing commands for something with very fine detail. You want to be able to leverage a, an image, whether it be loaded from the server or whether it be um, already on the page, you want to be able to load those images and use them as assets in your interactive content. So as I mentioned, we'll actually see two different, uh, three different examples today. Uh, the first one will be to actually use an image that's already on the page. The next one will actually be able to load a server image or other re from another resource. Uh, and then the third one will be actually to use a canvas as our image inside of the canvas itself. All right, let's head over to Dreamweaver CS5 and take a look. Now, I want to familiarize you with the code here real quick. We have in our body element a canvas element, and that's going to be our drawing surface. It's a width of 200, height of 200. And then you'll also notice that we have here an image element, and uh, the image element is, in this case, the HTML5 logo um, in the context of the page. And over here in Dreamweaver CS5, with our live view enabled, we can actually see that, that image, uh, what that image looks like. And you'll notice it is actually pushed off a few pixels, and that's because the canvas is there. Um, being rendered at, at 200 pixels by 200 pixels. We just haven't put anything on the canvas. So what we're going to do is take that image from the page and actually put it into the canvas. So how do we do that? Well, if we want to use a, uh, an image that's already on the page, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to pull up a snippet and show you how that works. So from the page here, just to kind of keep things brief. You'll notice that I have a logo.load uh, functionality here. So logo is the ID we put on the image and we're going to capture the load event so when the image is actually loaded and that's one of those gotchas when you're, you're working with images will get will trip you up repeatedly uh, and that is the uh, you need to wait for the image to load before you can actually use it and this doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's already on the page for example document ready will fire before the image is loaded so you can't just assume that it's there in order for you to draw you need to be able to listen for it and even preload it in some cases. Um, and of course, if we're drawing an image that we're going to use that's on the server still, we need to load it up and make sure that it's actually arrived before we can draw with it. So in this case, we have an image already on the page. We're going to listen for the load event to fire off of that image and then go ahead and use the context to uh, access a method called draw image. So draw image is a method on the context, canvas context that you would use to draw the image into the canvas. And it has actually lots of different parameters, but as far as we're concerned, we're going to tell it what to draw, which in this case is going to be the event.currentTarget. So uh, we, as we get to this jQuery event, we want to know what the actual DOM element is. In this case, uh, it's going to be the image itself, because it's the image that's going to fire that load event. And then we want to know x and y, where it sits on the page. So in this case, over 10 pixels, down 10 pixels. And if we go ahead and refresh our live view, you'll notice that now we have two uh, HTML5 logos, one that's actually drawn in the context of the canvas, and then one that's still kind of sitting out here draw, uh, drawn as the actual image element. Now, you might choose to actually pull that off uh, and not have those repeated uh, elements. So you know, you're going to use a style for that, for example, and take uh, the image, any image elements. In this case, it's kind of heavy-handed, but uh, we we'll go ahead and adjust the visibility to hidden, and that will hide it from view, yet it still actually gets drawn into the canvas. So that's actually using an image that's already on the page. What about loading an image from the server? For example, maybe you want to send some commands and have the server dynamically draw something else for you using some additional capabilities, or maybe even pull it from another resource and actually draw it, uh, load, it into the, load it into the canvas. So for that, we're actually going to use the JavaScript image object. I'll need to actually establish a reference for that. So we'll say var logo equals null. So that will be where we'll put our, our uh, image object, and then I'm going to go ahead and use another snippet here to load it from the server. And uh, let me just kind of clean up that code a little bit here. So now we have logo equals new image. That's the image, uh, the JavaScript image object that's been around for a while. And then again, you'll notice I capture the on load. So when the image is actually loaded, we're going to call this function. And again, that's going to trip you up lots of times. You need to make sure that image is loaded before you can draw with it. And then inside of that uh, load method, we're going to use the draw image again. And in this case, we're going to draw this, which is the reference to the image that we're using, and it's going to actually fire that event. 
And then we're gonna put it off 20 pixels by 20 pixels just so it doesn't appear in the same place as the drawing we just did. We're gonna kind of offset it a little bit. And then the last step to using the image uh, object is to tell it where the source is, and we'll point that at images logo PNG. So that can make a request from anywhere. It's going to, in this case, it's going to go into the images directory, pull off that logo and uh, image, and uh, load it up. When it's loaded up, we'll pop it into the canvas. So if I refresh, you'll notice that now I have on my canvas two different HTML5 logos, one slightly overlapping the other, in this case by 10 pixels more uh, over and down than the original drawing. Now the last one is actually to use uh, another canvas that you might have on the page as the source for the image that you're going to actually be putting in this other canvas that you have on the page. Now this is really good, for example, if you want to do kind of off-screen drawing, uh, uh, do stuff in the background and draw it on the background and then uh, not let the user see any of that and pop it over into our canvas that we're going to be drawing. Uh, for this, I have a more comprehensive example already built out. I'm going to go ahead, ahead and show you what that looks like. Um, it's much of the same code, so it kind of puts you in the same place we were earlier. I have here the logo that's loaded uh, from the page. And then I have here the logo that we're going to load from an external resource, or in this case, just uh, an image on the server. And then we're going to hand, handle one other instance, which is, again, loading uh, an image element from, or if you will, treating the canvas as an image. And for that, I'm actually going to listen for when I click on the canvas. So when I click on the canvas, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear the canvas that's been, uh, of what has been drawn so far. And then I'm going to draw an image from, and get this, document.getElementById stars. So what's stars? Well, if we come down here in the page, you can actually see that I have another canvas here. It's width 200, height 200, and its ID is stars. And all I've done for this particular instance is I've just taken um, a star drawing routine and told it to draw 100 stars with various points at various sizes into that canvas. And so we get this kind of random texture generated uh, for us to draw on top of. And so that is actually happening for us behind the scenes. Now, in this case, if we look over here in live view, you'll notice that that set of randomly generated stars is already visible for us, uh, as is the canvas with the two uh, fives already drawn on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, take that randomly generated element and actually hide it just to make it a little cleaner. So I'm going to come back up here to my CSS and say stars is hidden. So now if I refresh, you notice know, so that in our live view, the uh, stars canvas goes away. It's still there. It's still being drawn. It's still getting a bunch of random stars on it, but it's gone away. So back in our canvas click function here, when we call the draw image, we're actually going to call draw image using stars, or essentially pointing to another canvas. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the logo image that we loaded from the server, uh, and I'll center that in the context of the canvas. And so we're going to make this little uh, random background with the HTML5 logo in it. So let's go ahead and click into our canvas view here. And when I click, you'll notice we get the random stars with the HTML5 logo in the center. We'll refresh that and just do it again. Come over here, click on the canvas, voila, HTML5 logo and the canvas. And again, those stars are coming from a separate canvas and being drawn uh, as an image into the first canvas. And then the image uh, of the HTML5 logo is being drawn over top of that. And that opens up some pretty interesting possibilities. Um, for example, if you choose not to refresh the drawing, um, uh, as you move, as the user interacts with that piece, you can do some pretty neat, interesting effects. So, for example, if I go ahead and move my mouse around, you see that the HTML5 logo is getting drawn. And you'll also notice it's actually respecting, it's a PNG with a transparent background, so it's actually respecting that uh, transparency as well. And then I'll go ahead and release and clean that up. And so now we can, uh, can use, certainly use an image as a paintbrush inside of our canvas. Um, Draw image has lots of other properties you can do. Uh, for example, you can tell the tell it to draw an image from a certain point shifted over and a certain a certain uh, point off from that. Uh, you can also tell it to when it draws it fit the drawing that you're going to be putting into uh, a certain space. So you can use that to scale images up and down. Uh, you have lots of different options there with draw image. And in fact, when it comes to working with Canvas, you can actually get the access to the raw RGB pixel values of the canvas and start working with those directly. So some really interesting possibilities opens up there. Um, but I'll leave that to you uh, to explore and we'll cover it maybe in a later session. Uh, until then, I'm Kevin Hoyt.